right sir come back this class we are going to see double delay in cancers and staggered multiple frequencies so we know what is the blind speeds what is the blind speed the speed at which the target is moving it it, it, it tends to make the error blind so what is the speed we already learned that is a thing that this is the speed if a so if any target is moving with this velocity then the mta radar becomes blind then is the integer lambda is the wavelength t p is the pulse repetition time so if you write in terms of frequency pulse repetition frequency you can write 1 by t p equal to f p so we can write the velocity the blind velocity of the target is equal to n into lambda into f p by t f p is equal to pulse repetition frequency so what we have seen in the single delay line canceller this is the single delay line canceller subtract from this output will be v1 minus v2 v1 is this point and v2 is this point so it takes the subtraction of this two. We are going to have a subtract output like this. And that is taken with respect to frequency response of this output. The frequency response is a combination of both magnitude response and less phase response. So suppose you consider magnitude response. Magnitude response is also nothing but amplitude response. With respect to frequency on x axis, you can write uh, the amplitude correspondingly in the y axis. This is the response of the single delay cancer. Single delay cancer. What is this double delay in cancer? The frequency response of a single delay in cancer does not always have as broad a clutter rejection value as might be desired to switch it out. The clutter rejection notches may be wider, wider and by passing the output of the delay enhancer through the second delay enhancer. The output of two single line delay enhancer is cascaded in the square of the uh, square of that from the single delay enhancer. And the frequency response is given as 4 by 4 sine square by, by FD. So, single eliminating cancer is not yielding the response in order to extract the moving targets from the static targets, or we can say clusters. In order to improve that process, we have given the double delay in cancer, which will reject the clutter somewhat better than the single eliminating cancer. How to get this double delay in cancer is a delay in cancer followed by another delay in cancer, or we can say cascaded version of two delay in cancers. If you take the frequency response of that, that is equal to 4 into sine squared by FD. So we already learned the physical uh, delay in cancer. There, the frequency response we have seen like this one by, at 1 by t. They are going to have zeros. This is a single line cancer. But uh, when you go for the clutters, let us see that one for the This is the uh, double delay line cancer representation. So this is the input. This is one delay line cancer. This is another one delay line cancer, followed by another delay line cancer. And this is another single delay line cancer. 
So we can implement the same single LLI cancer, cascaded version of single LLI cancer. Like this. So we are going to have input from this, and it is given to the weightage of minus two for the one weightage, and plus one for it is for the two delay, and plus one for the third. So these two are same. These two are same. But the implementation is maybe we can take this one or this one, but the response is same. So this is called a three pulse cancer. We can call this one as three pulse cancer. And this is called as double delay in the because two billions are there. But the response is same for the two figures. Let us see how it is. This is the output of a triple three pulse cancer. F of t minus two in the f of t plus two plus f of t plus two. F of t plus f of t plus two t plus plus two. F of t plus two t. This is what weightage is given for minus two for the one delay, and given weightage for one for the two delay, and given weightage for the direct input as one. So the same thing we have the same thing. And if we go for this one, this one is also. We are going to have first delay in the cancer, minus second delay in the cancer, we can have the same response. So this response is equal to this response. It is nothing but a triple C. Three, three pulse cancer is this one. Three pulse cancer is this one. This is double delay cancer. We have same response to apparatus. So this can be based commonly called as three pulse cancers. Let us see how it will, it will be very much useful. On x axis, we take frequency, on x axis, on y axis, we take the response, amplitude and magnitude response. This is the collector spectrum. This is the collector spectrum. Bar lines are collectors. So the collectors. If you consider the single LLL canceller and the double LLL canceller, how effectively the double LLL canceller is existing? Let us see. The solid line is single delay line cancer. This dotted line is double delay line cancer. Just by seeing this one, we come to know which is good. Either double delay line or single delay line. Single delay line cancer is also passing some unwanted, unwanted uh, clutter frequency components. So it is not 100% effectively working for the Rejection of the collectors. So, if you take the uh, double delay cancellor, what is the portion of double delay cancellor? This is the portion that is passing by the double delay cancellor, the effect of collectors. So, comparatively, comparatively, see this green color. Green color is response due to the single delay cancellor rejection, and red color is. The response due to the double delay cancer. So comparatively, this double delay cancer is better performance than the uh, single delay cancer in order to uh, distinguish the moving target from the cutters. This is called double delay line cancer. The next topic is staggered, staggered pulse repetition frequencies. What is this staggered? Staggered means what is the meaning of staggered? Let's see. The blinds, blind speeds of two independent radars operating at the same frequency will be different if their pulse rotation frequencies are different. Therefore, if one radar were blind to moving targets, it is unlikely that the other radar will be blind also. Instead of using two separate radars, the same result can be obtained by with one of the one radar which time changes its pulse distribution frequency between two or more different values. So multiple pulse distribution frequencies. It means to say that listen here, listen carefully. So we have a target is moving. A target is moving. We want to take this target. We want to take this target. We have a, one radar section. Suppose this radar is this particular target is moving with the blind speed of the star. Uh, this particular 
uh, red up. What is the blind speed? We already have seen this is the blind speed. N, N lambda F3 by 2. So this is giving, giving with N lambda F3 by N lambda F3 by 2. With the speed, this particular target is for Then this radar becomes blind. But if it is the case, we are failing in that case. What we will do is we can have one more and one more anti one more radar section, which will be with some other uh, blind speed. This what is this FP? Lambda is fixed. What is this FP? FP is a pulse separation frequency. This radar is operating at a pulse separation frequency of some FP. FP1, let us consider that. FP1. And the second radar, if you consider it is operating with a pulse frequency of FP2, FP2, this particular radar will have different uh, uh, different blind speed. This radar will have different blind speed. So if it is failed, it will detect the object. If it is failed, it will detect the object. So we can make this use, uh, make use of this as uh, arrangement in order to avoid the problem of blind speed. That is one solution. That's one solution. But uh, to detect one object, to detect one object, you know, by using more number of antennas, more number of radar sections is not economical. Manner. So what we will do is, we are not going to use the second antenna here. We are going to use the one antenna only. This antenna only used to operate two, 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 two different frequencies, two pulse frequencies. For the first time, it generates FP1 related uh, signal, uh, pulse rate frequency signal will be transmitted to the object. For the same extent, after some time, it will again the radar will be uh, generating some other frequency FP2. So, this is what I said multiple PRFs, multiple PRFs, the same antenna using multiple pulse rotation frequencies can easily detect the or can easily avoid the problem of blind speed. So how we can avoid it? It is not avoiding it. We can say we can, limit, we can uh, avoid some extent. Let us see how it will happen. The pulse rotation frequency when we switch it for each scan, for each other scan, the antenna will become the antenna scan, antenna is scanned, a half hour wave width or period might be altered on every other pulse. When switching is pulse to pulse is taken as, this is called a pulse separation, staggered pulse separation frequency. So we are going to change the pulse separation frequency from pulse to pulse. The first pulse will be with some other pulse separation frequency. For the next pulse, the pulse separation frequency may be changed. So if you are sending such Pulses. We are sending such switching is taking place between the pulses, but whatever it is radiated or transmitted from the radar, that is called staggered pulse frequency. Let us see what happens. Uh, I have seen, uh, I said you already. It is having two uh, pulse separation frequencies. Let us see the frequency response. How it will be? Uh, how it will be for the two? Pulse separation frequencies. So, that is what the composite response of an empty radar operating with two separate pulse separation frequencies on a time shear basis is shown in the below figure. This is the figure. So, if you see this one, this is the magnitude response of a FP pulse, pulse, uh, pulse separation frequency one. And this is the magnitude response of a pulse separation frequency two. And this is the pulse separation, it is the uh, compo composite version of these two pulse separation frequencies. So, if you see this particular case, what happens here? Take the other line. Run the other line. See at this case. So, at this particular point, uh, actually, if it is up, if the, if the radar is operating with the only one pulse separation frequency, the blind speed may be existed over here. Right? If the pulse separation frequency two yellow netting, its pulse separation frequency will be having the blind speed like this. 
if it is operating with the two different double speed frequencies, the blind speed is moved to four times of T1 or five times of T1 by T2. This is what uh, the composite response of two staggered pulse repeat frequencies. So this is the frequency response of single LL capacitor and uh, this one. And uh, T1 by T2 is taken as 4 by the pulse repeat frequencies of uh, frequency, uh, the pulse repeat frequencies are in the ratio of 5 is to 1. The composite first blind speed increases several times compared to the single pulse repeat frequencies. That's what we have seen here. Zero response occurs when and only blind speeds of each pair of point size. Where it gets point size? This is the point where these two pulse repeat frequency blind speeds are coinciding. So this is the point where we are going to have blind speed. If you have only one pulse, first pulse repeat frequency, its blinds will occur very nearly. If it is having the second one, uh, second pulse repeat frequency, it is being like this. If you take composite version of this, two, the blind speed is increased. Uh, let us take example uh, for a simple example. If you use a pulse repeat frequency of 100, 100, let us say 100 hedges each time. It can able to take about uh, uh, 10 kilometers, let us say 10 kilometers per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. So, okay, 10 kilometers per hour. Let us say it is the blind speed of the first uh, 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 first PR and the second PR of related. Uh, uh, 20 kilometers, 20 kilometers per hour, per hour is the blind speed of the second one. And uh, due to composite uh, uh, version of two pulse repetition frequencies, this may be extended to 500 kilometers per hour. 500 kilometers per hour. See this one, how it is happening. So, if you use only pulse repetition frequency as FP1, if the target is moving with 10 kilometers per hour, the radar will be compliant. If it takes a second case, if it is being with pulse repetition frequency 2, if the, its blind speed is 20 kilometers per hour, means to say that one, when the target is moving with 20 kilometers per hour, this will be compliant. It is not good. It's not good. If, if you consider the composite version, the blind speed is increased to 500 kilometers per hour. So, blind speed is enhanced. So, blind speed is increased. So, up to 500 kilometers per hour, we can detect any object. If it is moving with 500 kilometers per hour, and only we are going to on the, become blind. And the radar become blind. Right. The blind speeds coincide at this point. And for example, the, the closer the ratio of T1 is to T2 approaches unity, the greater will be the value of first blind speed. So, plus blind speed is here. This is the first blind speed. So, how close are these two are? Depends upon that, the blind speed will be Right. The next topic is range gated Doppler filters. What is this range gated Doppler filters? Range gated Doppler filters is a frequency to mine method for separating moving targets from the spatial cluster. So, time domain we have seen that is called delay line cancellers. Single delay line, double delay line. These two are becomes time delay, time, time domain version of uh, separation of moving targets from the cluster. This is the frequency method, frequency domain method. Here, what happens? The loss of range of uh, the loss of range information, the collapsing loss may be eliminated by the first quantizing the ratio into the smaller increments. This process is called range gate. So what it means? We are going to have the entire range is going to be divided into some sort of intervals, interval one, interval two, like that. Range is divided. So the uh, input signal is given to this and phase detector is detects the phase. Later uh, it will be applied yeah. for the uh, remaining process like uh, delay line cancellor or range gated filter. This is the frequency domain representation of distinguishing the 
uh, moving target from the stationary targets. So here range gate one, two, three, like that, we are going to have some slots. Then box, box car generator, then band pass filter. This is called band pass filter, is also called as Doppler filter. Then full wave linear detector, then low pass filter, that is the word integrator, then threshold, then this is the one. Successfully. Okay. 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 Okay